Welcome, my beautiful Geminis, to your reading for July 2021. I'm sorry that this is late with vacation and trying to get caught up on other things. I fell a little bit behind, but hey, it's better late than never, right? <clears throat> so, as always, these readings can relate to love life, general life. Uh, they could be business, career, finances, family, whatever, however it resonates if it resonates. It's not going to be for everyone. And make sure you check out your sun, rising moon, and Venus signs. If this does resonate with you, make sure you reach out to me if you would like to dig a little bit deeper for a private reading. All my information is in the description box below. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Really helps me out a lot. Anyhow, as I was upstairs kind of eating my lunch and I was thinking about my Gemini's and I looked out my window and I saw this tire in the neighbor's yard up against their garage and spirit started to speak to me and about obstacles that tire when I was looking at it I saw a row of tires and monkey bars and different things, tubes, and like somebody running through an obstacle course. So <clears throat> whoever this is for, it feels like you're, you're running a race. You're trying to get to the finish line. You keep coming up against obstacles, but you're surmounting them. You're overcoming them. Every obstacle that comes, comes in your way, you have the ability to overcome, go around. But this is getting through that obstacle course to the finish line. <clears throat> so, with that said, we are going to dig in. And see where this is going. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. Ascended Masters of the Pure White Light. Guide me in this reading for Gemini. For the messages that Gemini needs to hear. For July of 2021. Okay, they're telling me the cards are ready. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the Page of Wands. Wonderful. <clears throat> this is some kind of news coming in. Good news, positive news. The Emperor. You might be hearing from a boss or a potential boss. You know, this could be news from a boss you know, maybe you're getting that promotion or maybe you're getting that job. If you've applied, they've looked over your resume. In general love life, <clears throat> you could be dealing with an Aries. That you could be receiving some good news from an Aries or somebody in a place of authority. Two of Wands. So this news is coming in to you, Gemini. And you are assessing the information, okay? You may be sitting at crossroads thinking about an offer that's coming in from this emperor. Take it as it resonates. Love, life, general life, career, work, whatever. There's You are assessing the offer that is coming in from this emperor, from this person of authority. This is somebody that is in a place of power, they know what they have to offer and they feel that they are offering you something that is solid. So you are assessing the option and you are in this position of trying to make a decision and decide what direction you want to go with it. And you are looking at making plans for the future. Beautiful energy here, Gemini. Page of Pentacles, there it is again. So, so you may have, maybe you communicated to this emperor that you want the position 
or <clears throat> that you need to make a choice, that you're making a choice or a decision. Or maybe you are asking this emperor, okay, have you made a choice? Maybe the emperor is making a decision. The emperor could be making that decision and finally presenting you with that offer. You may have taken that initiative to communicate and they are sitting there thinking about your communications and presenting you with an offer. Take it as it resonates. Nine of Wands. You've really been through it. You remember when I was talking about the obstacles in the beginning? Nines are accomplishments. So you're getting through that obstacle course. And the Nine of Wands to me is representing a barrier that the offer may have been coming in, but there may have been a barrier or a slowdown in its development or its it coming together here. Um, you may have run into obstacles and barriers with an emperor before, <clears throat> and you felt like that you were hitting your head against a brick wall. If you, you're at a place where you're tired of running the race. Come on, just make a decision already, please, is what I'm hearing. Wheel of Fortune, beautiful energy. So I feel that the things are moving in the right direction for you. Things are progressing and changing. There is a big change that is about to occur. You made it through that obstacle course. And you are evolving, changing. Okay? The offer has come, finally come through and made it through to you. And it is life-changing. Everything is, it's like destiny stepping in, the universe stepping in. Your prayers being answered. Five of Cups. I'm hearing disappointment that maybe you've... This, okay, disappointment or loss. This could go in different directions. That might be why you're sitting at a crossroads trying to make a decision because you might have to give something up in order to evolve and move past the obstacles and take advantage of an opportunity being presented to you. Okay, now take it as, this could be general or love life. Take it as it resonates. But this does feel extremely positive. It does. Even though there's a sense of regret or sense of loss here. I'm not feeling devastation. I'm just feeling like, oh gee. I'm going to have to tell somebody that I've made a decision to go in another direction. The strength card. This is having that courage. This is having the courage to deal with change that might be emotional and have, and also you might have been dealing with somebody who may have been a little bit intimidating. Maybe they were a little bit standoffish and you're unsure on how to approach them. And I feel like you're letting somebody down. I really, and because there has been a change, there has been an offer. We have two pages here and there may be two offers on the board. Okay, you have multiple opportunities here, multiple options. And you're making a choice and a decision. But where the problem is lying it is within you. Trying to overcome that feeling of inferiority, that intimidation, that whether that emperor is putting that out intentionally, being intimidating or not. Maybe they are not meaning to, but that's how they're coming across to you. And you're just kind of like, oh my God, I got to tell him or I got to tell her that I want something else. I'm going, I'm choosing someone else or I'm choosing another job, another position elsewhere. <clears throat> 
I'm leaving the company because I have a better job opportunity. Or this relationship is just not what I expected. This was not what I really wanted. And so I need to choose another path. Whatever it is, it is not going to be an easy choice. Judgment. Yeah, this is you making that final decision. You know, you've been having a hard go of it. You've been running into those obstacles. But judgment is a judgment call. It is making the right choice that is best for you. It is the universe coming in. And I'm hearing karma. But I'm hearing good karma. It might be your good karma and somebody else's bad karma. You know, the universe works in strange and mysterious ways. So, and under the deck, we have the Hierophant. This is a contract deal. This is a contract. This is a, a commitment, a higher level of commitment. Your faith that you've had, that you've kept on pushing forward, is about to come to fruition. You are about to get what you wanted. E but again, even if it means having to let somebody down. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what Goddess wants to speak to you, Gemini. See what messages come forth from one of the goddesses. Okay, so I'm being a little bit OCD about my cards being straight. Okay, which goddess, please? Which one of you want to speak, please, to Gemini? Who has a message for Gemini? Oh, okay. Yeah, the top card here was flipping out, so I put her on the top. We're going to take a look to see who she is. Ah, uh, Hectate. The in-between. This is extremely appropriate. And we have a number 20, which reduces to a 2. 20 is also coinciding with Judgment. The Judgment card. Wow, very appropriate for you, Gemini. She is talking about you being in the in-between stage. It's about you assessing your options, trying to make those decisions, trying to make a good judgment call. You don't, you don't want to have to live with regrets or asking, what if I would have chosen this option or that option? But you are definitely in a space of needing to choose. Okay. Okay, go see what other messages she has. Okay. You are standing in the liminal spaces between what was and what will be. Who you have been and who you are becoming. The Greek goddess of crossroads you know i've talked about you i've already said that you are sitting at this crossroads here okay the goddess of crossroads and the in between hectate welcomes you to her domain and reminds you that neither place is your home you're being tasked to carefully choose the direction of your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and actions. Now is not the time for hasty action or stubbornness, but a, a, um, a fierce self-inventory. <clears throat> Bless the past for what it has provided and release all attachments to the stories of what was. So you, this, you're being called 
to leave the past behind. Some of you may be still hanging on to the past. Maybe a past commitment. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is talking about escaping the past, leaving the past behind. Taking the knowledge that you have learned, but leaving the garbage, the baggage behind. Okay. Wow. This is powerful. And now is the time to understand the responsibilities required of you as you move forward into a new version of yourself that is yet unformed. You do not want to become. Who do, who do you want to become? I'm sorry. She's asking, who do you want to become? What kind of life are you prepared to live and how will you wisely yield your power to co-create a new world beneficial for others not just yourself you have the magic of hectate pulsing through you and calling to you to answer say yes and stop and step into the unknown to discover what is not yet manifest as soon as you do, the goddess Hectate will bring her eternal torch to light your way. There are times when you find yourself stuck between worlds, unable to go back to the way things were, and afraid to move forward without knowing what you're facing. The indecision can be crippling, but yet you can't stay forever in the in-between. The Goddess Hectate offers you a sacred alignment task. Take a, make a movie. It doesn't matter if you stumble or fall. After all, you can always course correct. correct. That's something that you have to understand. You can always change your course. If you see something failing and you don't see recovery in it, don't try to resurrect something that is plummeting downwards. You know, rise up out of the ashes and change your course. Course correction is key. Okay? And you have to remember that you're not alone in this as well. Bring love to the part of you that is afraid and that has lost faith. Hierophant. Maybe you've lost faith in any direction in the divine, in the way that your life is going. Okay? And again, remember you're not alone, as the goddess Hectate will not abandon you in the dark, nor will you remain there for long. Consider, as you move forward through life, the sacred challenge of trusting the magic that makes this world and you, your part in it, sing with meaning. Don't be afraid to stop or, or to step into the dark. The goddess Hectate will raise her torch and show you the way out. Beautiful message, Gemini. Okay, let's see what other beautiful messages Spirit has for you. Draw a couple of these cards and we'll call it a read. Deceit. Okay, this is card 25. A seven. Seven can be challenges. Progressing through the challenges and recognizing I'm hearing self-deception, okay? It's like that negative self-talk. This is similar to devil energy in the tarot. 
there's this negativity, this negative self-talk that you can't do it because you feel that you're always running an uphill battle, that you're always running to, into obstacles, but you've made it this far. And you're going to have that victory <coughs> over this. you got to have, this is having victory over the negative self-talk, over the self-deception. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel is here about your throat. Throat chakra, using your voice, speaking truth from your heart. Which is going to bring about a sense of abundance for you. Abundance is coming. Love. You know, generosity. Stability. So, you know, this self-deception has to go. And because victory lies ahead. 28 reduces to a 10. 10 is will of fortune. It is change. It is an end of a cycle and having victory over that cycle, successful completing, learning that lesson and moving forward. Well, this is, I'm going to end it on that note. These are the messages that Spirit wanted you to hear and the goddesses. I hope this resonates with somebody. Again, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to reach out if you feel you need a personal reading. And I love you all and blessed be.